Today, we're taking a look at 10 hotkeys in Premiere Pro that will make you a faster, more efficient editor. We've got our timeline of footage here ready to go. Let's get into it. First off, ripple delete. What you'll want to do here is head to edit, keyboard shortcuts, and then assign the letter T to ripple delete. And ripple delete means that whenever you have a clip selected, you can get rid of it simply by hitting T. Easy. Another way to ripple delete multiple clips is to use the in and out keys. So you're going to press I at the start of the clips where you want to start deleting and then O at the out point. And then you can hit T, ripple delete, and they're all gone. Ripple trim enables you to delete part of a clip before or after the playhead position. So if I wanted to delete the clip before this playhead on the left, I hit Q. If I want to delete the rest of this clip after the playhead on the right, I hit W. If you're looking to make a cut in your footage, rather than having to select the razor tool and then click, you can simply hit Command K on Max or Control K on Windows, and it will make a cut at the playhead position. If you want to select a clip, when the playhead is passing over it, simply press D. If you're looking to move your footage or your audio up and down the tracks, you can do this simply by holding Option on Mac or Alt on Windows, and then moving the arrowheads up and down. Duplicating clips is super easy. Simply hold Option on the Mac or Alt on Windows and then drag that clip with your cursor. Zooming in and out. You, you're going to find yourself zooming in and out of your timeline a lot throughout any project. And the easiest way to do this is simply hitting plus for zooming in and minus for zooming out. And as a bonus, if you hit the backslash key, it automatically fits the whole sequence to the timeline. That one's pretty useful. If you're looking to full screen a panel, such as your timeline or the program monitor, all you need to do is hit the tilde key. To pull back out, same again. You might think this one is silly, but trust me, it's a lifesaver. Do not forget to save your work regularly. I find myself doing it every other minute, just in case. All you need to do is hit Command and S on a Mac or Control and S on Windows. And then if you want to save a separate copy, just hit Command Option S on a Mac or Control Alt S on Windows. Easy. 